I think it's about time we address the crew. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to the channel. This video is a bit of a different one. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, I'm choosing the nuclear option. Now, what does that even mean? That means the highest, most complete, extreme, like the, just going all out committing to an option is going the nuclear option. But why am I choosing the option that I'm gonna be going with? The option that's gonna be very clear on the channel, the option that's gonna, well, uh, be very clear by the end of this video. Because let me tell you something right now, I could fall off. I could, I, I could absolutely fall off. The channel could fall off. What do I mean by that? Well, it's the decision I'm gonna be making very, very soon. So, the crew recently, I, I've had a lot to think about, especially with the Positivity Week. I kind of wanted to think, what was it that made me so negative about this game? See, because in a, in a weird, weird thing, I used to be considered a Ubisoft shill, which even wasn't right at the time. I, I was negative about the crew too all the time. But, you know, people love to hate, so I just heard Ubisoft shill a lot. And then... I, uh, but you know, I still appreciate the game and any criticisms I make are always valid about it. But now, it's like, maybe someone will, from, from far out of the audience will be like Ubisoft Shield. But for the most part, people have, have said I complained too much recently. But the thing is, I have always kept my complaining to valid criticism. I've never wanted to just go, screw you, Ivory Tower, because I've got nothing against the boys at Ivory Tower. I, I love the boys at Ivory Tower, but I've needed the game to be better. And I've had a few, well, <sighs> chances to think. Chances to think, what was it that made me so negative? And I kept thinking, and I realized in the end, that the first time I was made so negative about the game was when they... The, the, the first time I had like the, a big response of being like, what are you talking about? Being uh, outspoken and being like, what is this? Why is this a decision you've made? Undo this! Was when they said that they will not be removing traffic from skills. Now, why did I, why did I think this was such a bad thing? It was such- it was the first time that they'd kind of just done a big nuh -uh to the- You're kidding. This is the first time they ever did like a big a nuh -uh to the community. Just a no to anyone asking for traffic to be removed from skills. And I just found this so cartoonishly bad because the the summit especially look don't remove it in the open world because what was their reason to do so what why did they not want to remove traffic from skills well it was because they wanted to keep the game as a as a live world feeling but why keep it in the summit the summit isn't where we want randomness the summit is the competitive. That was the first time I just felt like I was talking to a wall. It was the first time I felt like I was just, you know, not speaking to, to, to a human anymore, I guess. I was just sort of yapping to, to, to beyond nothing. Was that the summit is the competitive in the game. It's the, it's the competitive. Competitive is the complete antithesis of randomness. You don't want complete RNG, complete randomness in the, uh, somewhere where you're trying to get a consistently high score. It just didn't make any sense. And it was the, it, I, I had to think about that for a minute. I had to have that realization where that was the first time I became actively negative about the game or actively negative about what decisions the game was making. Look, I know the game is broken in so many other aspects. That came after the fact. Like the fact that the livery creator still doesn't work. The fact that the photo mode still doesn't work. That Well, no, the photo mode does work. It's just bad, really. But the livery creator doesn't work. I had to cancel a video recently because I, I had some livery creators who were going to make some liveries 
for a video, but I had to cancel that video because they couldn't finish deliveries. They just couldn't. The game would crash and break and delete their progress and delete their saved stickers, which is just, ah, uh, it's disappointing because I don't want to not like the game. I don't, I hope Ivory Tower doesn't think I'm just some big hater on the game. I don't want to hate the game. I, I have made that this game has been part of my career, right? And then, you know, I, I'm stuck in the position where it just is definitively bad. You know, things are definitively bad. It's not me going, I don't like the way this is. It's me going, this is broken. This is actively negative. This is undeniably a bad thing. And that's where I'm stuck. And then, I, when they it said that, just, you know, skills... Bloody what, whatever, you're keeping the skills, who cares? It's just that's where we're stuck. And the thing is, to prove that I want this game to be better, I make concepts. I like look at this idea that I made about the game, right? Literally yesterday. I just I kind of really don't like this white void for a simple reason is that colours just don't work in this white void. Certain colours just come up as completely wrong. Like, if I go here and go to Chrome, all of these look weird. They look dark, right? But then when you actually get in the open world, they're not. The white void just doesn't really work. So, I made this concept where, you know, you get uh, the, you get the scenes. So, you have this area and you have uh, an actual road here. You can swap scenes and you can change the daytime and the weather. If you click weather, it'll open all the different weather options. But then you have... You know, all the different scenes, like an indoor one, and a racetrack one, and an off-road one. So that, you know, depending on the car you're customizing, say you're customizing a Touring, or a Alpha GP, or something like that, you you might set it to this, or you might set it to off-road. But then, even update-specific ones, like this, and having a... Even, I went as far as making plane and boat ones. I love making concepts for the game. If they just hire... And I don't, you don't even gotta hire me. But just t give me a direct line to you guys. Give me a direct line to Ivory Tower. And be like, okay, so just go and make concepts. Just, just bring us some concept ideas. Right? I would do that. I'd do that in a heartbeat. But instead, the position I'm in is one where I wanna see these ideas for the game. Because I want good things for the game. Yet, I come off as someone who's blindly hating it. I come off as someone who has no love for the game and just wants to just wants to shit on it all the time. Which just isn't the case. It just... And I come off... And I'm just talking to a wall is, is what it feels like. And it was because of that skill time where it just felt for the first time that I was just talking to a wall. And that's upsetting. When you look at Need for Speed recently, they have been so transparent, so, so transparent. And that's probably because they don't really have as many people there anymore. Need for Speed is a team of 30, while Ivory Tower is a team of 300. So they just sort of don't have the, 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 the amount of people above them and the chain of command that I guess Ivory Tower does. But uh, regardless of the reason, it's a negative because it just means that you get no transparency for stuff like that. I think, like, the Crew 1 shutdown, it was mentioned that, like, the last time they talked about the Crew 1 shutdown was when they did the shutdown. That was when they last talked about... Was Sorry, not even. Was when they announced it back in December. That was when they last talked about the shutdown. There's just no communication, and that just is... It's, it's been really upsetting, truly. Um, and that's where I've been negative about the game a lot, and I, I kind of got to, I kind of got to stand on that. I got to stand on the business that is, hey, Sid, you've been, you've been, you've been kind of shitting on the game, which, you know, that's what it is. But that's just one of the reasons I've sort of been wanting to, yeah, from the crew, sort of been wanting, been wanting to push away from the crew, right, is the fact that the game just seems to be going in, in directions that just don't seem positive. Updates just don't seem substantive. Look, uh, people don't like drip-fed content. People don't like that. But what they've been doing at the moment is just giving you no reason to ever go on the game. The main stage, you never need to play. You, you don't need to play the main stage. 
at all. In fact, I, I tallied this up uh, that you can complete an entire update. It was in like six hours or less. I'll try and find uh, that uh, image that I made because you don't need to play the main stage anymore because it will just return. So you can just play it then. You don't need to care about the car in the main stage because it'll just return. You don't really need to care about anything in the main stage. Uh, all you need to care about is one summit car because there's only one summit car every week. In fact, most of the time there's, uh, well, there there is there is uh there's 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 it's bloody. Most of the time, there's reruns. Here you go. How to finish an entire update in two hours, a month, or less. Load up only on the last week. Play the new playlist. Only applies once. That's only for the first month. Maybe twice, but I don't even know if there's going to be another playlist this update. Summit car. Only applies if it's new. Only three of these or, or four months. There, oh, there's a rerun this month. It's this month. This one's the rerun. Play the Legacy main stage for the update before. Only applies if new cars. None of this current uh, update is. Every single one of the main stage right now is re-ran. So not only do I not even need to care about the main stage because of that. Like, I can quit. I can quit right now because there is nothing for me on the game anymore. Nothing. That sucks. Plus, then they add all of the cars slap bang first day. And some people prefer that. It just means that I've got zero reason to ever load up the game past the first day. And I think that's where I need to step back. That's where I need to go, okay, this is the amount of content the crew is putting in the game. So that's the amount of content I'm going to make for the game. Right? I'll still be here on the early access. I'll still be here to make videos on the new update. But that might be it. I want to, oh, well, okay, let me explain the plan near the end of the video, because there's even more that goes into it. Motorfest release to begin with. I tweeted a while ago how Motorfest should have had 30 playlists instead of 15 at launch. Now, you might think, oh, God, that's so many, Sid, you're asking for too much. Bearing in mind, in 200 hours played with a lot of those hours, a lot being PvP. I was just playing Demo Royale in that first month. So, all of those hours being, a bunch of those hours being PvP, 200 hours and one month. Less than, two days less than a full month, I finished the entire game. That's, I finished the entire game in a month. With 15 playlists. So, 30 playlists is what I thought there should be. On top of that, I thought that, no matter how long it should take. How long it would take, it should have gotten 30 players. We were fine with the Crew 2. The Crew 2, I was enjoying the position the Crew 2 was in. I was loving it. I, I, I do some kind of, maybe it's just nostalgia, but I do sometimes wish to go back to the place where we were in the Crew 2. But on top of that, what I said was uh, that go ahead and like d do, do everything. In that time, give the game, the game should have had two more years in the oven. It should have had two more years. And in that time, just overhaul things that needed overhauling. The parts system. Look, it doesn't have to be fully overhauled, but I'm putting an exhaust on an EV car? What are you talking about? The livery career, the photo mode, things that should have been overhauled. That needed to be overhauled. The, uh, that's, that's where I stand on that. Where... Things just should have been updated and upgraded when they weren't. That's where I think the game probably needed two more years. The uh, uh, the updates, man. The updates. I'm just, like, where I'm sat on the updates is just also so... Because oh, the position we're in with the updates is that, like I said, one playlist at the beginning, they've just become so cookie cutter. Look, updates like the contractor sucked in the crew too. They did. But the fact that we just get... Like, we, we have a list of things that we get, right? We get... Did we even get a feature last update? I don't think we did get a feature in the Hoonigan update. We got the Legacy main stage, which I have its own criticisms, right? But we got the Legacy main stage added as a feature in the last update. Then Hoonigan update, I don't remember getting any new feature of any kind. Not that I can think of. I Oh, I guess we got 
I, I guess we got a few different skill types. I guess, if that counts. I guess. We got the island, though. We got the island. But that's it. We get one feature, island or gameplay feature. And then we get a playlist, which is two hours of content. Two, two hours. Two hours of content. The summit has felt off. The main stage, there's no reason to play it. Then in total, there is two hours of content in the game every four months if they don't add another playlist. I'm hoping they add another playlist this update, but I don't know if they will. That's where we're sat. That's where we're stuck because they've become so cookie cutter with the main stage. Another thing about the main stage is that it just doesn't incentivize playing anything specifically. People don't realize that instead of getting live rewards, you can do the like Kara suggested skills and it's actually pretty enjoyable. But people don't realize that because it's just explore. Get anything done via explore. People don't realize that the, the demo royale mode exists at all. People don't realize that it exists. And they don't realize that it's actually pretty enjoyable when you get into it. Because it's just compete. It's just play any compete thing. People don't realize it. People don't do Legacy Main Stage Revisit because it's just, why bother? It's not made enjoyable. So why? It's so open-ended. And the, the car I suggested doesn't even make sense because you can be in a, a an Alpha GP car and Kara will suggest an off-road race. There's so many finicky little details that I'm happy to tell Ivory Tower. That I'm happy to be like, IBT, these are the things that need fixing that need changing, but Incredible I've just felt so, in a way, neglected, in a weird way, I'm not entitled to be, what's the opposite of neglected, neglected, I don't know, I'm not entitled to that at all, in no way, but regardless, I've definitely felt a bit like, you know, why bother when it comes to the, 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 the ideas that I put out there, the, the concepts that I put out there, like, I've been putting out many concepts on my Twitter recently, like update ideas. I put a whole drag playlist on my uh, Twitter recently. I've just been going all in on uh, different concept ideas, like the the one that I showed you guys. Then there's also the, the, the this intense racing style one with uh, semi-slick tires and actually having like, a, 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 you know, a proper racing type thing. You can pause and read if you really want like this and I make these concept images all of these as well as a actual like gameplay feature where because at the moment there's no reason to use your own cars so I made this feature or well made the concept for this feature a replay list then I also made two other playlist ideas with a drag playlist which would feature uh, an actual drag arena and a bracket system for the, uh, the, you know, the way you play it. And then on top of that, uh, little things like, hey, why are we in the main stage tent when we could be wherever this is? This looks way cooler. Let us go here. Screw the main stage tent. This place is so much cooler. Thousand percent. And then, you know, finally, this rally playlist idea that I made. I mean, you check that out and then you can see the concept images that I made where this, but like this, and then this, this took time. Like, I want good for the game. I do. I absolutely do. But then you got features like this, which are like, I get it, but done bad. For the main stage legacy. Add the vanities and stuff that were in the main stage. Add the emotes. Add the rewards. As like two events, three events, or four events, six events. Add those into the game as well. Just like, it's it's like the, 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 ah, the definition of the crew has always been great idea but just could have been done so much better great idea lacking substance in execution and that sucks because i like the game i'm optimistic about the next update and the update after that and the update after that because those are the first updates that were not done pre-launch, or at least planned pre-launch. Every update up till now, we saw in the trailers before the launch of the game. So, now we're in a position where, you know, 
I, uh, we're, we're actually going to be getting some fresh updates. Where hopefully now that's where the feedback will come in. That's where, you know, the things we've said as a community will hopefully come in. And I will see that. I look forward to the next update, to the next early access, to the next few videos I get to make. But then we switch to the sake of the channel. See, I'm a crew content creator. And although in the crew 2, you know, and the crew motorfests hype build up, that got me from 0 to 89,000 subscribers. But there's a ceiling, you know. I can't sit here and wait for Ivory Tower to make a good update. I can't sit here and fingers crossed hope that Ivory Tower change their mind and start, you know, doing good. I'd need to expand regardless. I say I'm going to fall off in the next month because videos I'm going to do are likely to not get many views. I might even get a sub 1,000 view video on a 90,000 subscriber channel. That's possible. That's completely possible. But I was already close to that point making Motorfest videos. You know, that's where I'm stuck. I mean, not only has there been a few things behind the scenes that have pushed me away from Motorfest, but also things just like the fact that I need to expand. Everyone I've talked to about it, they've been surprised by the state of things. But also, it's been like, yeah, you, you, you'd you need to expand regardless. You'd need to be making other racing game videos regardless. I, I'll still be the crew guy, because the thing is, there's room for me, right? Because you think about it, you got AR12, who plays all the racing games, or a bunch of racing games, but mainly plays Forza. You've got Black Panther, who plays a bunch of racing games, who plays all the racing games, but mainly plays Need for Speed. There is room there for a, a, a content creator who plays all the racing games, but mainly plays the crew, cares about the crew, genuinely wants good for the crew, <laughs> right? That's where I'm set. That's where I, I, I see it, but... You know, especially a time like this, and I planned this very long ago. When I saw the Forceberg week was going to be five weeks long, and I was like, ooh, that looks rough. All the way back at the beginning of this update, I had decided this was what I was going to do. That This was the decision I was going to make, and it's pretty intense. Then, obviously, other things came around that were solidifying it. The fact that the updates had been so... Ugh, the fact that there'd been the behind-the-scenes things. The fact that, you know, I'd come to a position where I just feel so pushed aside by the crew, right? One thing I found kind of funny, actually. One thing I found um, very funny was, uh, I, 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 you know, and I can only see this as an external thing. Because this is thing, things that, you know, the public can see. You guys can see these things happening, right? Was how... You know, a while back, I'd get, you know, interacted to uh, by the crew's accounts fairly often. And look, I know I've been pretty negative. I know I've, I know I've been pretty negative recently. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I don't get that anymore. I don't get any interaction from the, 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 the crew accounts anymore. I, I I still like the boys at Ivory Tower. Look, I don't, I don't even really see the crew account as a person. I see it more of as, a, as like a brand. So I mean, look, it makes sense if they're like, ooh, we don't wanna we don't wanna brand relate to Sid Edge. But I'm trying I'm trying to find the tweet because there's a specific tweet that um is pretty funny in hindsight. <laughs> oh god damn it, where is it, man? It was me quoting a crew tweet, which was just um. Uh, oh, god damn it. I will find it. Here it is. There you go. This was the tweet. Um, might frame this, to be honest. And it's, yes, we love some new Sid Wash content. This is where it felt cool. Uh, this, this is some motivating stuff, you know. This kind of stuff has me thinking, like, you know, maybe I give the game more of a benefit of, doubt, of the doubt. But, you know, miss the days when they used to reply to our tweets. See, like I mentioned, people see this, you know. Um, it, it's kind of like... It's, it's 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 a bit demotivating, I suppose. But again, I'm not entitled to anything. In no way. 
right? I'm not, I'm absolutely not entitled to them even caring that I exist. In, 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 the, in the, the, the most extreme sense of that, I do not need or deserve them doing that, right? Which is why, after all, who, who uses this? Who, who uses this? Does anyone use this? Has anyone ever used this? I don't think... <laughs> Do people use this? Like the vehicle customization option? I don't, I don't think so. Oh well. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I still love all the boys at Ivory Tower. The boys and the girls. I say, I say boys is like a general gender neutral term. Chat, it's chat. I don't know why I'm saying chat now. I say boys is like a gender neutral term, fellas. And that was also gendered. Okay, right. <laughs> but some changes have to be made. Look, I think the main chick was getting a bit too comfortable. I think that the main girl was getting a bit too comfortable. Knows I always come back to her. Knows that, you know, I've got nowhere else to go. And if I, if I, if I start saying that she needs to improve a bit, she'll just kind of distance herself from me and think I got nothing else to do about it. So, I think it's about time that, look, I'll come back for the main things. When they drop a new car, when, the, if they drop a new playlist, when Stellantis Italy returns, I'll come back to the main chick. But, uh, I think it's time I start giving the side pieces a few bits of attention. I think it's time I kind of put them on the main phone instead of the side piece phone. I think it's time I, I flaunt myself a little bit somewhere else. And on top of that, I think it's just... It's just an audience that I'd I'd love to break into. The Forza audience. I think it's just an audience that I I would be happy to to, to to jump into. No matter how badly it goes. For the next month. No matter how badly. Now put your bets in for how long it lasts. For the next month. Until Shmi month, I guess. And at that point, you know, if something relevant goes on in Shmi month, but like I'll be back during Shmi month, the Shmont, if you will. I'm gonna be making exclusively Forza only content. I am only going to make videos on Forza. Now I'll make main videos when new stuff happens in the crew. Unless it's the same time something's happening in Forza. Because I still enjoy the game. I think that this game is the fun one. I think Need for Speed's the crime police one. Forza is the car person's one. This Motorfest, I think, is the fun one. This one provides the fun with the vehicle variety and the main stage. Not the main, not the main stage. Uh, the, the Demo Royale and the Grand Race. It's the fun one. But uh, the next little bit, I think it's just... I think it's time instead of a video starting like what's going on boys my name is Sid I think it's time I bid farewell what's going on boys my name is Sid and welcome back to the channel welcome to Forza Horizon Five. A game that also does suck in its own way, but here I am. Thank you to popular members, a special thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members, Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed, and an insane insane top of the top thank you to Icon members, HK and Extreme Speed again. And I think, I think for the sake of, for the, for the sake, for the sake of, for the sake of the message, I think it's time I stop wearing this hoodie. I think it's, uh, I think it just, it doesn't represent what is, uh, what's going on anymore, so... Oh, for God's 